Hey guys, welcome back and today we'll talk about editable poly. So let's begin with the shape. Let's pick a box. For converting into the poly, you can just click, uh, right click and just convert to editable poly mode. Or you can just click on the have box, right click and editable poly. After converting the object into the editable poly, you will get some sub options. Like if you just click on the plus sign, you will get vertex, edge, border, polygon, element. So let's begin with the vertex first. Vertex are the points on the corner of the box you can see right now. These are the vertex. You can just move. Uh, after converting the shape into editable poly mode, you do not get the option for the length, height, width, and the segments like in earlier shapes you, you were just giving the segments in the starting of the shape or by going to the modifier panel or you were just tweaking the shape like length height and width by just increasing but after converting it to the editable poly mode you do not get that option and the option you get are like vertex edge border polygon element so like if you want to increase the length of the box you can just select all of the vertex and you can just click like it or if you want to just increase the width of the box you can just go like that so these are the vertex you can move you can move that upward to the left again left up down front back or any other side you want the next option to the vertex is edge edge is basically the line connecting two vertex like these line like the line connecting two vertex or you can say this line edge is the line basically connecting two vertex same like vertex you can move it upward front back left down in any shape you want you can just do it any shape you want as per your requirement or need or the reference you are modeling for the next option to the edge is border basically there is no border in the shape as it is a complete packed shape border is an option like let's check out the polygon first polygon is basically the shape all surrounded by the edge you can say or the vertex so these are the polygons let's delete any of the polygon first so as you delete the polygon you will get the blank space here this blank space is called border like if you just select now the border is select let's off the grid first so the border is selected you can just move the border as per your requirement upward downward or anywhere you want and when you are satisfied or when you have got the required length, width, or height, you can just right click on the object and click on the cap. The border will be automatically filled. So these are the options like vertex, edge, border, polygon. And the fifth option is element. Element is basically the object in the single object. Like, uh, let me explain you. Like, let's, let's take a different shape. And let's give two two vertices and click it to the poly. Select the polygons. Basically, the shortcut for vertex, edge, border, polygon, and element are vertex shortcut is one, edge for the two, border for the three, polygon for the four, fifth for the element. So let's select the polygon. Let's select all, all of the polygons and click. Uh, and go to the and edit geometry mode click on the detach detach option appearing in front of you detach to element detach as clone let's check both of the option first we'll check detach as clone as you click detach as clone and click ok you will get two shapes one is the you will get two shape 
so what is the shape you have created before and second is the shape you have created with the polygons and created as clone let's delete it again go to the polygons press 4 for the shortcut of polygons select polygons again click on the detach and now this time click on detach to element as soon as you click on detach to element you can go out of a shape and now when you select a object you will get both of the objects in a single time but if you want to select the object both as per your need you can just go to element and select the another shape you can just move it you can again go to that the poly mode and now you can see and when you click on one object the another will be automatically selected so basically the element means having many shapes in a single object like this is the element now you can select both of the element differently you can just keep it as before these are the two shapes right now but you as you click on the editable poly mode you will get a single shape once again so in a single object or a model you can have as many objects as you want in a single object so basically these are the basic options having these are the basic options in the editable poly mode editable poly mode is an mode where you get each and everything you wanna do with you got freedom to play with the vertex edge border polygon you can you can just pick out each and everything of the object let's now move to the edit geometry mode basically the useful thing in all of the thing is edit geometry mode let's check out all the option let's move to the vertex first the constraints is an is an option having none edge face normal you can just see if you want to move this vertex upward select it you can move okay let's make a different shape as we have we attached the shape to the element let's make a different shape convert it to the poly select the vertex you can just select out the vertex now you can move it up so away you can just move it upward or downward as you want and as you click on the edge mode you can just check that you are not able to move the vertex upward you can just shift it to the down you can just shift it but you can't move that up vertex to uh, in upward direction or other than this shape now as you click on the face option you can just see you get again the same thing face is basically the option for the polygon mode you are you cannot do anything by selecting face in the vertex mode and another option is normal as you click on the normal you can see again you are getting the, the thing you are getting in the none option so these are basically the constraint option in the vertex mode next now let's shift to the create collapse attach detach option the first option is create you can just create you can just click on the create option and you can create the vertex as you want now you can you can just go to the x mode by pressing alt text you can see that here are the vertex you have created basically these are of no use can just again delete it you can again go to the create mode you can click it here 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 again you can see the op the vertex present here just delete it was again basically you can if you want to create the vertex you can just press, press alt c alt c is for the cut option you can see as you have pressed the alt c you have got the cut option highlighted now you can create vertex as per your choice wherever you want to give you can just create and when you are done with the vertex you can press you can just press right click now we can see that you have created an m and basically the m option is here so this cut option is for giving the cut in your shape when you need some specified shape or 
when you just need to remove the triangle always remember that there should be no triangle in your model triangle create a lot of problem we'll talk about it later but be sure that try to avoid triangle as much as you can the next option is collapse collapse is for like you can just select two of the vertex you can click on collapse the two of the vertex will merge in a while you can select all of the three vertex you can just click on collapse so collapse option is for just merging the opt vertex the next option is for the attach now let's move to the slice plane it will just cut the plane in a while the next option is quick slice i will tell you later at the last of the editable poly mode the next is m smooth will just start smoothing your object by adding vertex to it another option is tessellate again it worked like that it will just create the segments in your object another is make planar it will just okay let's click on editable poly mode now you can check this make planar you can just check out whether it is useful for useful for you or not it is basically the very unused option one of the most unused option next one is the tessellate option it will just increase the vertex in your object you can see the another is for view align grid align Another, the next one is of the relax you can just relax your object so we are done for the added geometry in the vertex section now move to the selection selection part is like you can select the vertex edge the option you are getting here you can get in the selection tab again border there is no border in the object edge this is a closed shape again the polygons and the elements okay these are the option you get you can just click on the vertex now you can see by when sorry you can see that when you are selecting vertex the back vertex are also getting selected you can just click on the ignore back facing and when now you will select the vertex you will see that no backward vertex will be selected let's see once again you can see once again no backward vertex will be selected you can check if you are here you are just selecting this and you press alt text you can see only one vertex is selected but if you just switch off the ignore back facing option you can see if you now select the vertex the back vertex vertices are also getting selected so you can just check out another option is for the shrink draw this option is basically for selecting the area you want like uh, if you are just selecting only this one vertex and you want to select this all you can just click on grow 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 all what vertex will be selected as you click on the grow 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 you can just shrink out to selection the next option is of soft selection let's switch off the selection tab bar another is soft selection soft selection is like if you just click on the vertex and you oh, sorry let's make a detailable geometry when none now if you let's talk now let if you move the selection you can see how the hard edges are coming and how these vertex are just moving further without affecting the backward vertices you can just select and you can if you are in the switch select soft selection you will be able to see that the area soft selection is affecting as you just move forward these vertices they will affect the back vertices like if you just increase the fall off okay let's make it to 30 you can see that if you move this further these vert vertices are also getting affected so these 
is the feature of soft selection these are the options for like pinching or increasing the fall off or decreasing the fall off you can see the difference okay this is also so we'll talk about these options later let's minimize the soft selection tab move to the subdivision surface subdivision surface is not of use this time let's move to subdivision displacement this is also of not use the this is not useful for us this time now let's move to the paint deformation paint deformation is like if you click on the push and the pull you will get a brush you can just adjust the brush size brush strength and the push and pull value and now if you select this you can see that it is just pushing your object outside if you want to just push the object inner side you can just click on the relax now you can just click here 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 now you can see the object is getting pushed to the inner side this is the option of push and pull selection you can just increase the brush size brush strength as per your need this is basically for like if you are creating a plane and if you want to make a zigzag ground or the like uh, not stable ground you can just make it zigzag or unstable by clicking on the push and pull value and just getting out your surface little bit more harder and upward so let's move to the next option next option is the oh, let's move to the vertex mode next option is the edit vertices this is use okay let once of this soft selection mode okay so so vertex is like if you just click on the vertex and you click on the remove the vertex will be deleted if you just click on the vertex and you click on the break the vertex will be break into two options two vertices like this for the hair and this for the so you can just see that the vertex got got break into two parts you can check it once again Let, let's make it in a while again single vertex okay this was a chamfer you can chamfer the nearby part of the vertex like this it will create space as per your need okay let's once again go back this for the target weld you can just use it like if you want to add this vertex to this vertex you can just click on the target weld you will get a different sign you can click on this vertex you will get a line and you can click on this vertex this will not work right now because they are not having any common thing because they are not made for welding target welding i will explain it to you later using it a different option next move to the connect connect is basically now now i will tell you in that mode okay so we are done with this option also vertex properties this is basically used when you want like when you have selected these three vertex and you have given them color to like zero 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 okay and uh, if uh, and then you have forgotten that which vertex you have colored and you want to select that part you can just go to the color bar you can just make it zero zero and you can just click on the select the three vertex will be selected automatically okay let's move to the edge edge like edit geometry this again same option it is for creating an edge it is for just collapsing to edge like if we select the edge and you click on the collapse you can see it will get merged this was attached this was deattaching slash pen same click slash i will tell you later for just it is for just giving cut into your object this is for the cut if you want to make an edge of your choice like if you click here you can just add vertex where you want this is for smoothing again this is for increasing segments in your object make planar you can just check nothing much useful in that relaxing your object okay let's 
of the edit geometry option selection is like same if you have just selected your edge you can just go your selection or shrink your selection let's delete it go to the soft selection again soft selection is for selecting like you have selected this edge and you can just click on the soft selection and you can increase the fall off this is not we have talked about it in the vertex mode let's minimize it again go to the edit edges these options are same like that if you want to just remove this edge you can click on here if you want to extrude this edge you can just click here and just extrude it extrude option i will explain you in the polygon mode this for the target weld bridge connect connect is like we have okay let's switch off the soft selection first connect is like you have selected this edge and you have clicked on the alt r alt r is basically for ringing the selection and if you now click on the connect you will get a segment between that i will explain you disconnect option later on the an object let's see it first like these shapes okay we are done with the edit edges subdivision surface not of use subdivision displacement is not of use paint deformation is again like that push and pull now go to the border option border option is same but we are not having any border option is the same you have the option for deleting border you can just collapse the border you can just slice there is nothing to tell about it it now another option is polygon polygon option is having a lot of option it is very useful in the modeling like if you have uh, if you have selected a polygon there are many options to like if you go to the edit geometry mode edit geometry mode is same as selection is also same soft selection is also same let's go to the edit polygon edit polygon toolbar it is the most used toolbar and most useful toolbar in the modeling you can so like if you have selected a polygon and if you want that this polygon should be moving in this direction like if you select this polygon move like this it will spoil your shape you can just select the polygon click on the extrude setting and now you can just move this polygon as you want you can just change it from the local normal by polygon okay this time there is not much difference but further in the more modeling section i will explain you more okay another option is for bevel like bevel is you get two options one for extruding and one for squeezing the shape okay you can just extrude the shape like that this is for the shape you want to increase or decrease and this is for the for the tip to just squeeze the shape this is for the bevel option we will use it in a chair option like if we are just extruding the legs of a chair you can just squeeze that time let's move to the another option of insert insert is for just insert is for just making a same shape in that polygon like if you just click on clicking insert you can see that as you increase the value the same polygon will be inserting into the polygon we have selected another option is for bridge bridge is just like that uh, if you have just extruded two legs of the chair and if you want to bridge or just attach the two legs you can just select the polygon and click on the bridge okay like we have just extruded this part okay this is not this is not useful let's let's talk about it later okay then again there is nothing to tell about that you can get this all option by just clicking right click on your object in the polygon and you here you can also get extrude bevel outline inset okay let's go move downward again these options are same nothing much useful and the another option is element element is not having that much option useful option so like uh, we again the same option like edit geometry we have talked about the selection soft selection paint deformation push and the pull we have talked and these are the material ids we'll talk about the material ids in the texturing mode and here are the edit elements you can just 
insert word text just flip it or you can just pick the options these are not much useful so let's so let me explain you about the bridge option like if you have taken this if you have taken a shape okay let's make this segment to 000 so that you may understand the use of editable poly mode that you can add segment anytime do you want so let's go to the edge mode so when you go to the edge mode this is a shape you can go to the edit geometry sorry sorry selection when you select a shape uh, when you select uh, edge you get two options one for the ring one for the loop if you just click on the ring you will get the ring selection like in the circle moving direction like if you just click on a select uh, if you select an edge and you press alt r you will get the ring edges selected and if you want to select the loop you can just click it on the loop but here this time we are not having a loop so we will not be able to select so let's select the ring click on the click on the connect by clicking on the connect you can add segments okay we want two segment two segment we can pinch to the border like to the edges okay we have just pinched the selection to the edge to segment to the edges okay click once again now select this polygon this uh, edge and press alt r again okay now click on the connect toolbar again okay so we have got now this time you can just select this polygon and you can just click on the bevel or extrude whatever you want okay let's see the extrude first just you can click on the extrude and you can do like or you can just do like that or you can just go backward click on the sorry you can just click on the bevel option you can just increase and you can just pick the legs okay okay this is fine and uh, let's go to the polygon again click it here and click on the insert option increase it to the two okay click on the extrude option go to the minus okay you got a table now you uh, now what i was explaining it for the bridge option you can go to the front viewport you can select all of the edges okay you can just click it on the connect option make it to the 190 and get your wait a second Okay, move this downward 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 okay let's make it to the two let it remain one again select the edges click on the connect move it bit upward okay here okay so we are done uh, the bridge option was like if you want to join these two legs with a take or you can say you want to disconnect select the polygon you want to bridge select this polygon press control and select the another polygon okay we have selected the two polygons now you can click on the bridge okay so these two legs are attached okay let's make it more clear go to the edge again okay so you can see that the four edges you have inserted in the legs are selected you can go to the chamfer as you click on the chamfer let's see by clicking okay you will get one more edge there you can just increase the gap you can add segment in between okay don't need you just need to minimize the gap click again okay go to the polygon click this polygon select this polygon click on the bridge 
okay you can just add the segments to your bridge part you can just add or not add to your choice you can just click on ok now you can see that your table has been attached or bridged with the another polygon so this is the bridge option so these are the option the editable poly mode is having you can just check out the option the polygon mode these are the option very useful while modeling extrude inset bevel bridge these are the very much use option so let's now let's see about the one second quick slice quick slice is just for cutting your object into two like you select quick slice click here you will get a line how you want to cut your object click, click here and press w now you can see that your object has been divided into two so if you want to just delete half of your object you can just click right now. you can just delete your half object this is for the option of the quick slice when whenever you are just having a problem by adding segment so if you are not getting the segment as per your requirement or like you are just getting the segment like in a zigzag way because there are some places when you add segment you will get the segment in a zigzag way you can just you can just quick slice there your object so these are the objects in the actual poly mode you can just check out each and every option there are many many options in the editable poly mode so in the next tutorial we'll we'll make a basic model or we'll make a model having a lot of option or which will make us more which will help us which will help us in getting more of these option i will try to make many of the objects which which will in which we'll use all of these options so that you can get this thing exactly and basically in the poly mode we just need to take care about of these segments because in the poly mode we can just add this segment as you want like if you want to add the segment here just click on the edge press alt r you can just right click here or you can wait for a second or you can just go to the edit edge you can click connect you can can just add one more segment and if you want to just move it like bit upward you can do so this is basically the option of edit editable poly mode editable poly mode gives you the right to play with your shape as you want like these are the vertex this is the edge border we are not having a border in this object like polygon like if you want to just extrude this polygon a bit just see so this is uh, are the options in the editable poly mode you can just check out the option let's see the option okay so these are the option in the poly mode okay so just check uh, all the options just pick out the values and let's make a shape in the next tutorial